We you support against you. Please. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait it. Because I... if you don't stop impeding my space, we're also going to do an emergency meeting after this because you have. Oh, here. Hey, is that, is that good enough? Six feet, six feet from me? Thank you this for videoing table, him mistake. that he's now complying with the law. Thank no, you, no, this is not a, right. a lawful order in the first place. Gotcha. So, so I'm just trying to be respectful. We're going to go ahead and move forward. Who are you we're on all the phone set, with, okay? <laughs> yep, you need to identify who you are and who's here, buddy. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay, hey, I'm going to take a second, buddy. I'm going to hand out some agendas so that they have agendas. Phil? Would you like an agenda, Phil? Well, I think we would all be needing one. Okay. This is an illegal meeting. Yeah, absolutely illegal. What Thank you. are you doing? Here you go. You don't want, a, you don't want an agenda? Guys? Agenda? I'll take an agenda. Great. Sure. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Perfect. Uh, uh. So David, now that we've established quorum and that in fact we are holding a legal meeting and that Phil will be talking with the police in regards to his somehow trying to stop said meeting. Uh, I don't know why time. you are implying such. Tony, thank you for, sir, putting it on record. There's no uh, record. You can go ahead along the agenda now that they have it. Go ahead, buddy. Yes. Need a second. Tony, I need a second. I'm sorry, I needed a second on the meeting minutes. At oh, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. I will second this. I know, I it's was distracting. distracted by <laughs> things going on. Forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. So within the minutes that we had for November 4th that you guys actually already prior approved under the emergency meeting that followed the political rally that was held and all the false statements that were made by two representatives as well as various members of renters showing up at a meeting claiming that there was a members meeting which was not legitimate or held. Under November 4th, you guys had the budget approved and everything else, all that stuff. Any questions or comments in regards to what you all received back on Wednesday in regards to the minutes. But you really do have two minutes if anybody wants to say what did anything. We do you have a copy Nothing. of the agenda for today's meeting? Uh-huh. Yeah, we did handed them out to those that were on time. Be careful because you might be invading the space. Yeah, you need to make sure you get it. Just have them put it on the table and then you can pick it up. I have a question. Who's the board member running the meeting? Do you guys need one too? You're the Thank management you. company, yeah, correct? Let's not interrupt it and I'll, I'll explain it to you very simply. Was already the meeting? Yeah, for, yeah, for, for being so sitting at our table here. Park. We're gonna we're gonna make it very clear. So you guys were misinformed on Wednesday by a couple of individuals pulling a, a fake political rally, which is already being filed complaints with the state of Arizona in regards to their false political rally and their hijacking and then telling you legal advice that was incorrect. You did not have a members meeting, nothing occurred. After that meeting, because you guys intimidated, like you're trying now, an emergency meeting. An emergency here. meeting was held and everything was passed within the agenda because you threatened individuals and thus an emergency meeting was required. We're attempting we're, no we're attempting a second time to hold that Wednesday meeting in public where you can view it and hear it without interruption what occurred. That way it's not just being passed in private. Does that make sense? So we're just going to go down the agenda. You'll have a couple of minutes within the agenda to then make a comment. It's actually very structured and easy. Well, who's the board member running the meeting? That's David that's on the phone. We have this David? is Tony. Where's David? He's on the phone. Oh, on the phone. Okay. He's not present. Can you tell let's, us when let's this meeting Let's move forward. Let's, let's just try for a second because we're not in court. So again, we, we want to get through this. You want to hear it. You want to see it. Let's do it. Well, why, why are forward. you threatening charges if we're not in court then? Sir, you'll have to deal with the police on that. I have no responsibility in regards to that. Yeah, right. Okay, so Perfect. everything was notified. People are here. They're well aware of it and we're notified. Thank you for all verifying the notification. Uh, no, 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 we're, we're notified. Could you please tell us the date and time we're gonna, you posted we're gonna move the meeting? Forward. We're going to move according forward. Please tell us the date law, and time you posted according the to state meeting. law, a board meeting to be valid. Thank, thank you, David. Yeah. Needs we're gonna, 24, we're gonna, 48 hours notice. We're going to move forward with, what was with the David's... Date and time uh, the when did you give notice of this meeting? Thank you. Again, we're not in court. Day we're going to move forward with the board meeting. Okay. So, when so when did you get okay for you to falsify us information, right? So you all ago. are being recorded of trying to, again, stop a board meeting. What we're just asking questions. We're, the questions. Meeting we're, not, we're not here to answer questions. We're here to run a board meeting. Again, you were falsely 
told things on Wednesday. We have you videotaped uh, showing you posted the meeting 15 minutes ago. Great, thank you. What was the date and time you said you posted the meeting? David? Yes. What year was the vehicle that was tearing down postings? What year was that vehicle and what was the make and model of it? Thank you. Appreciate you letting me know that somebody's been going around the community and tearing down notices. Thank you, sir. Did you also identify that and timestamp that? We can say whatever we want at the meetings, right? So we're going to move forward. Okay, guys, we're going to move forward. Actually, there's a timestamp on it, but sure. I knew it. Okay, so we're moving down the uh, general meeting. So we have the minutes. You guys got your comments, which had no relevance towards any of the minutes. Guys, I need a motion. Tony, David, would you motion for the minutes, please? Thank you very much. You guys weren't there. Thank you very much. Okay, so what was included in the packet? You guys have your budget for 2023. Why the increase? Uh, there was to be a discussion which we had during the emergency meeting after uh, you guys were attacked uh, and threatened. We talked about things like eggs are up 60%, groceries are up 12%, electricity is up 14%, fuels up 42%, public. Uh, energy up 34%, groceries 19, rent is 12%. Total cost of around 10,000 extra going into 2023. We did a very minor, small increase. There haven't been another increase in seven years. I believe this is the third increase in 14 years. So pretty impressive. We've kept cost very low, very reasonable. Uh, only minor increases way below the average uh, within the state of Arizona. Also in the packet was the balance sheet, giving you all the information. Again, we reviewed that during the emergency meeting. Uh, the income and expense statement, which a full breakdown for the end of the year that was also sent out to all the members, so both the budget and the total income expense was sent out to everybody. Uh, so they're well informed of where their money went, why it went, and what was going on. There haven't been financials posted there's since also, 2015. Will those be shared? There's also, the, I just said they were mailed via they Eight were mailed? Okay. okay, I just didn't receive anything. Oh. That's what I was targeting David, for you, sorry. David, we have a member uh, claiming all kinds of great things and saying they never received anything in regards to a budget or financials. Oh, I received a budget, but not financials. Uh, I, yes, I just wanted you to make sure you were aware, you can't hear it. There's also the general ledger that's in the packet, again, showing a full breakdown ground of everything that was expenditures and everything, all the other information. Uh, currently, there's roughly $80,000 within the bank. Uh, there's another $25,000 within the reserve. Um, everything's pretty much exactly as it should be, where it should be. Yes, members were fully informed of the full breakdown. I think this individual is confused and claiming she'd like to see it online so that she could pull it up when she sees fit, but it was mailed out to everyone. I did not receive I didn't any receive budget it. for I didn't 2022, budget. only the projected budget for 2023. Okay. So there are concerns uh why don't you make a motion so they can then talk within the structure that they should and i legitimately saying that thank you uh as well as the 2022 financials please perfect uh need a second. A second thank you so we have uh uh, Howard Simon, uh, CPA, that goes through all of this information as well, uh, the full breakdown that uh, does the audit, does the information, and then uh, that goes on to the board for their signature. Uh, up to date, we haven't had any issues within uh, 15 years, something like that, David. I think it's about 15 years we haven't had anything. It's all out there and available. Uh, there's also... <laughs> David, I, I, yeah, I can. I, I want to let you know, it, at least the individuals are starting to become professional and realize that this is a real thing, except for a handful that just like to say radical ideas. No, sir, what is the, the good news is, is that we have not had to be attacked yet. I feel like this is intimidating. So in regards to <clears throat> now the motion. <laughs> trying to intimidate the community. Got it. Making so now comments. as the motion has been placed, it's open to comments from those I would like to say, I, I believe you said false. Yes. Ideally. Yes. I would like to say we did receive a projected budget for 2023. However, we did not receive any history or statements or financial documents showing what was spent 
or broke down in 2022. When asked for those said financials, our email was ignored. And what was your name? My name is Ben. Okay. And our email was ignored and a follow-up email was sent that was ignored as well. Calls have been made, those were ignored as well. Okay, Ben, uh, anonymous, I, I, all I could tell you is that everything was sent out. However, if there truly is a concern, um, uh, David, you could, I, I think what's happening is that a false narrative has been created. Um, and I think that the, yeah, Sir, so I think that I'm way, not wait, finding whoa, whoa, a false wait, narrative. I'm let me, saying let me exactly finish my what statement. happened. I think one way to deal with people making such a claim, send it out again. I think if you, you okay with remodifying it? It's the year in <coughs> income and expense statement. There's, there's nothing secretive to it. It's just a breakdown of word. I agree. Totally. Right. I agree, it. but yes. we do but, not receive it. But again, it, I, so. I, I don't buy the narrative, but I'm saying to prevent it, maybe this is a good idea. Secondarily, everything's on the public side. Yes. Everybody, there, there's no interior side to the website is what I'm saying. The, the general documents, the, the budgets, everything is all on the public side. That is incorrect. There is no documents, no updated to the website. In How regards can we to confirm it? anything with the well, well, administrative credentials? I, I, I don't want to get off, I don't want to get off subject. It's not. What, what, what's not there? Any budget or financial documents have not been posted since 2015, unless you've done it in the last 24 hours. No, that'd be within the interior. Everything is posted there. It's, and that way, if I can correct you, when you do a home sale, all that information has to be there. We put it on the public side. Just make sure you're clicking on important docs and other information. It is not there. I can prove it that it has not been there. Right. What I was going to say was there are, in that debate, would you guys feel comfortable putting this on the public side as well? I just believe there needs to be yes. transparency, even if... It's just a direct if, answer. Would you like this on the public side of the website? I want to either be mailed or some other option to be able to... Yeah, David, let's documents. do both because I'm, I'm getting the as typical half answer. So let's do this. Let's put it on the website. I can have this on by... I'd say Monday afternoon, maybe Tuesday at the latest. This is a scan and get it on there so that people can actually get, but they just opened it up to the entire T of anybody in the public. Just so so you know, I just need not... you to make a motion saying that the income expense will be both mailed as well as posted onto the website. Will you modify it for me? Sir, we are not asking for that. We are just asking for documents to be delivered as promised. Thank you. It could be put it's on a enough. member's login I'm account so they could see it. We, when they we don't do logins. Login. They don't. It doesn't function. The website does so not function within the interior. It could still be private, but a way for members to see it. I, if I have people saying they're not getting it, we need to deal with that. And then I'm gonna. You guys are all gonna decide. To somebody, I'm gonna hand it to you so that you can scan it and do it. This is all public information. This isn't private. Nothing's being withheld. We're just wondering why we don't have it. I, it was mailed. I'm sorry that you're saying you didn't get it, but it was mailed out along with statements. Uh, can was you it guys the same envelope or was it? No, no, it was two envelopes? different mailings, two separate mailings. Well, could we have a vote uh, to see we're who gonna, actually received it? Hold on, we're gonna. Did anyone here receive it? No, I didn't receive it. I didn't receive it. No one here received it. Okay, but you can't. I mean, you're not, you can't vote on it. But what I'm saying is, is I'm gonna hand it to one of you. We're just claiming that your statements are false. Is all we're trying to do. Yeah. That many people not getting delivered a document is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna try, David. Yeah, uh, can I get a, can I get approval, please? I need, I need approval. Can I get approval for what your motion was? I need approval for it, please. No, we already got the second from Tony. We just need approval. Yeah, those eyes or nays? Yes or no, David? Yes. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Absolutely. Who would like the copy that they say they never got and will pass it on to anybody else? It'll also be posted on the publicly on the website as well as mailed out through page for page. Why is it our responsibility to distribute to our neighbors? David, I know. Well, that's, I, yes, please, somebody. Are you somebody. bestowing us with power? Oh. Please, it's somebody. Well, I mean, that's just it's public information. We would have to make him yeah, a director in it's order for It's the same thing. Him I'm a neighbor just like you. Yeah, well, well, I live here. I've been here for Tony, 25 years. Tony, I'm we'll not just, taking okay? responsibility. Tony, of Tony we'll just conduct the meeting. Okay, I tried, though. I tried to give it I know, I know. You asked for it. I mean, what more can I do at this point? All I can say is, Alex, I apologize. Are you giving that just to give it to him or giving it to him as responsible to pass it out? If I'd like a copy, I just don't yeah. want the responsibility. Okay. The motion was for 
page per page, which is a third party. They're gonna mail this out to everybody. Okay, yeah, I don't want this one. I Sex want it, but I don't want that one. No, no, no. I, we we're responsible for that. Okay. We have to do that. We're also gonna put it on the public website. We're responsible for that. If anybody believes that they don't have it. You can distribute it to anybody you'd like. This is it. That was already given to everybody. But I can have that without the responsibility. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yes. I just yes. wanted to. You're good. No, you're good. I'm just sharing it. This is what's in the packet. No, that's why I was missing. Nothing like, secret. It's uh, front and back, just so you know. That's just an extra copy. Yes. That's what's been distributed to everybody prior. That too, through our responsibility, will be distributed to everybody. It'll also be on the website. Anybody can go to the website. They say my mail didn't get to me, or I. I, I don't know. Uh, I have a rental oh. address is confused. Okay. They go to the website and get as well. That's oh. our responsibility. Okay. But you have it just in case. All right. Cause that's what's in our, in so, the budget, right? Uh, the stamps, David, the envelopes, so David, the paper, all that is, is in the, in the budget, right? Yeah. Oh, I have this one. I know, but yep, if you thing. want to share, it's just so people can carry oh, along. Yeah. Since everybody's calmed down a little bit. Anybody need a... If anybody wants another agenda, just just so you know that we're care we're just just so agenda. you guys know where we're at. Agenda. agenda. Okay, so financials are done. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, hiring and providing a deposit to a community attorney. This is a shocker. So there was somebody uh, distributed a flyer and then also gave out some uh, information. See, we need enough homeowners attending in person to order to meet quorum. Uh, doesn't comply with CCNRs, bylaws, anything. They, they implied a bunch of stuff that has led to you guys getting threatened, your safety within your homes, uh, me being threatened, uh, postings that are recorded all over the place, recordings that during that meeting, representatives holding a public rally that potentially is completely in violation of state law in regards to hijacking a board meeting and then somebody actually did a jazz dance with jazz hands i can't wait for them to get on fox news going i'm barbara parker and did a dance claiming that she knew everything and anything so isn't that freedom of that assembly? is what happened at a board meeting that is a board meeting not a public meeting or a member meeting and yet and they're all recording me somebody sent out to meet quorum for a member meeting. So we're trying to investigate who created this fake flyer and sent it out. I have a few ideas of who those people are as well. So we need to retain an attorney and start to investigate what occurred during that board meeting that was prevented. By the way, very calm right now, David. Everybody's listening, everything's moving forward. Guys, I need a motion. David, it needs to look like I'm going to put it at 25,000 uh, towards an attorney in order to deal with false statements made, false information put out, uh, review of the board itself and what was happening during that meeting, uh, social media, video that was taken, statements by individuals, uh, as well as your safety as a board, any threats that need to be dealt with. Okay, I need that motion. Just. Well, when we get to it, yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised it doesn't have one. I'm second that. All right. Uh, um, you guys felt threatened when you walked away from the meeting? David, why aren't you here? No, you be honest. Be honest. that you showed up to be honest i said i would be willing to do it because we should be able to conduct things in america today and that what happened was just disgusting could have brought the police with don't worry you. we have we have emails we'll read here in a minute don't worry yeah i i agree buddy yeah we don't want to have to spend money we have in the past in regards to police security safety uh, I, I think you should be able to conduct an open meeting without any of that going on. 
nor have somebody hold a political rally and send out a bunch of lies leading up to their political rally. Um, there are laws that govern that. So uh, they said what they said, which was nothing. Guys, okay, any yay or an A? You, you still haven't given any evidence. You just made, a, yeah, yeah. You just made assertions. What are the attorneys evidence. for? Uh, next, Everybody's so granite, rock, sand replenishment. Uh, you're going to have to put it up. Okay. This is stupid anyway. Okay. Tree replacement, David. Got it. Homeless vagrant activity under uh, the roadways along Goodwill. Uh, for everybody's... Yeah. It... <laughs> so to, for everybody's benefit, so they're aware, the city has been doing compliance uh, across the board except for parking, which we file complaints and ask the city to do. We cannot do anything with all, along the uh, public roadways. City of Mesa doesn't let us uh, issue anything or say anything or stop anybody from parking. If you have a concern about it, you have to contact the city of Mesa. We, I, contact them and say, I see an abandoned car or somebody who doesn't have proper tags, uh, immobile, things like that. But again, it's all city of Mesa. We can't do anything about it. Uh, we had graffiti that's been addressed this, uh, I don't know, the last couple of days. We had some graffiti out there. We tried to stay on top of it. A lot of homeless that come up and down, brought in by goodwill. Lots of graffiti. We don't know who does it, but it's it's not professional greedy. Is that the graffiti? Is that the word you'd use? It's just like kids. It's not <clears throat> tagging. It's just graffiti. So we're addressing that. But City of Mesa, uh, they continue to allow them to live underneath the street. Uh, Signal Butte and Broadway, Broadway and 104th, 104th and Broadway, both locations. Uh, I just need a motion from the board to have the city contacted on a weekly basis in regards to searching underneath the roadways to remove the structures and the i don't know the word but them they're going to be well they're storing stuff well they we have to filing there you go so there's a, a small expense because the city will not remove it and we have to remove it so i just need that kind of a motion saying we're going to be contacting the city and then we're going to be hauling out the material that's stockpiling down underneath the road rest. Okay. Any comments? Any feedback on this? Has anybody seen it? It's bad. It's really, really bad. We live here, we know. It's terrible. And, and a lot of people aren't aware because so we don't have people coming to meetings very often. They hide it behind electric boxes. They hide it down in the bushes near Goodwill. We took, oh, go ahead. Yeah, we had a crew, we had a crew of four picking up trash here uh, this weekend, going through, it was, it was really bad. The kind of small stuff that we were seeing out there, so. Okay, so we got the feedback. Uh, I just need a yes or a no. Yes. Yes or a no, David. Okay, so motion passes. So, so far, we're about halfway, guys, on your stuff. We're almost wrapped up. Uh, tot lot service, new equipment at parks. All that stuff that was installed this past year, the turtles, the diggers, uh, the steps that were installed, that was around, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 that was spent in regards to that. That's uh, Dave Bang. And then we've got tot lot that comes in quarterly. Uh, just need a motion to continue that. Okay. Guys, any feedback? It's quarterly. That's the service that we receive, and then they assess if something's wrong, and then they give There's it. Yes, a question. I'm sorry. Go, yes, please. I'm just curious. Why were there never meetings before that you were allowed to go now? What improvements could be made to the past? I don't I'm want just you to. Yeah, we, we kind of covered it, but hold on. Down at the bottom of the. Do you have an agenda? Down at the bottom, it has the homeowner form. So we'll get there. We'll get there. We're, we're on the way. So, Tutler, that's all the feedback. Okay. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no, David? Yes. So, it's motion passes on that one. Delinquencies. In the packet, we've got the delinquency breakdown. Um, it's it's low. We're sitting somewhere around, I think, 40,000. We were as high as 125,000. Um, we're looking really good in regards to total delinquencies. 
Um, sorry, I have the I have the violations in there. But anyways, it's in the packet regarding violations. It's somewhere roughly around. It's under forty thousand. I don't need a motion in regards to it, but we're continuing with vile fathering ham like we have with the last eight, ten years. Anything that's over. We try to not go after people that have a low dollar amount, as you guys know. I mean, honestly, it's somewhere around 280, 400, that realm that you get a letter. And then I try postcards. I'm really big on postcards. Then it's a letter, and then it's a few more letters, and it goes on to vile. Um, any questions? There's not going to be a motion. Any questions regards to buy or uh, delinquencies or how that works? If, if My you don't... question is: You guys have sent us the couple letters, and we actually have automatic withdrawal. Okay. With money in there, and you're telling us we're delinquent, and you're supposed to be withdrawn. I second that. Yeah. So that looks in a couple different ways. So some people, when they contact us, and there's some good stuff I'll get to here in a second. I'll uh, go with that. They say, "Hey, why do I owe? I'm picking a dollar, 170 dollars." Because that quarterly statement that comes out is for the future amounts, and there could be yes, thank you. And then it wasn't necessarily processed. Your let's just say December payment yet, so that's not in there. All your payments go to the bank. You don't touch any payments. Everything goes directly to the bank to a lockbox. It's a PO box it's called a lockbox. They process it. We don't touch it, and then gets updated into Tops. It's it's a whole huge software used throughout the nation. That's what you get. So sometimes people get confused by that. We just send back. Well, you send delinquent letters to us that we're delinquent or we're past due. This is a good. This is a good question. So, how much income and delinquency letters have we received in 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018? How many? How much have we received in delinquency letters? We we get two, three a year. How much were you fined for it? We weren't. But the fact of the matter is now we're spending our it's, time to call you it's guys. It's just a letter. It, it's fine. just, and I appreciate your words, but I, I would like everybody to hear that. And I want to say it again. So you were informed, but you weren't charged. Correct. Right. Great. Right. <coughs> Glad that we were able to update you and then we could clarify it and fix it after the fact, but you weren't charged. There's no income being created off of any of this. It's just an open, hey, you're behind. This is what's going on. And again, I want to go back. Some people get confused at the quarterly statement that's three months in advance and they go, I'm behind and we fix it. I get letters like, uh, going back to, I don't remember who it was. I, I believe it was this individual here. Um, didn't receive the, uh, well, I think a lot of people said in, in, income expense. Then I had somebody contact me and said they didn't have the uh, information in regards to where to mail their payments. And everybody gets the same thing. It's a third party that sends it out, it's page per page. And at, down at the bottom is the exact same PO box for the last like eight years, nine years, something like that. Had to talk to a few individuals, really great experience. Hey David, yeah. this is just informative for two seconds. I'm gonna hang up with you, I'm gonna call you right back. Just hang in there. Oh, okay. I gotta share that voicemail, just one second. So I had, unfortunately, an elderly guy that contacted me uh, this week, and hopefully you can hear it. This is him talking about exactly what you just talked about. Um, this is him talking about. Um, I apologize. I'm sorry. He's an older man. He was basically saying that this this changed. He was confused by it. He was apologizing. I'm wrong. 
the bank that receives the payments, they recognize the name Sigaboot Ranch when processing his payments, but he wasn't sending it to the proper lockbox. But they were being polite and courteous and processing it, then it wasn't processed. It took him 18 months to figure that out. So when you talk about delinquency letters, I hear you, but 18 months it took him to figure it out. And so we were just working with them and you could, you, you'll give you his name. I'm not was, really worried about that. I'm just saying he was never fined okay. and he was I never charged. I, I get those I'm two just calling David. and I know I'm up to payment. I ignore it and it goes away. I realize that yeah, there's a little backlog and they didn't process it quick enough. And David, you it, there? It's irritating. You owe money. But David? you know you paid. Okay. okay. But, you sorry, I, I was just giving a recap. That's my card. You, you, you guys are. You guys are. No, I'm just going to ask. You guys are using the money, right? Like to. You guys are using the money to pay for this service, correct? Which service? The, whoever's collecting our money. So no, it's just the bank. Okay, but so. There's no charge. But the delinquent letter that's costing money to thirty cents a stamp or whatever it is. Are we paying for that out of our HOA dues? I mean, you're paying three dollars on it, but that's not something that's coming up because the delin because the delinquency letter is very minor. There's only a handful. I don't know where you were at. But I mean, I'm really answering the question. The statement you get quarterly is a delinquency letter. If you're behind, that's your letter. You don't get another letter. We're not charging on that. It's you have the budget. Look down the line where it talks about delinquencies. You have the income expense. Well, he's got it, and it's going to be on the website within a day or two. Look at it and talk to me about it at that point. I mean, do your research. It's not there. There's, it's, it's literally postcards. Talk about violations. That's the biggest thing that I heard in, in the stuff that I saw is violations. I'm going to get to that in just a second. But I've got people that talk about uh, they don't have the documents. They don't know where the information is. They didn't know the website was working. Uh, the, what was going on with where things were mailed. I have somebody that mailed me a payment to... Uh, 3317, which is not where we receive payments. We don't touch them. We, we, we make copies of all the letters that come in from people that are confused by what's going on with it. I had a nice lady that called me and yelled at me for 25 minutes. She sent it to PO Box 6244. It's not a PO Box, it's available for your payments. And she enclosed the actual payment slip. This is the copy right here and the check. She did everything wrong and yelled at me for 25 minutes. It's all right there in front of you. When you go to the public side, you can click, make a payment, and it's there. It's all very easy. We're not trying to prevent you. Everything goes to the bank. Bank doesn't charge us to receive payments. Yes. So you're saying the PO box is at a bank? Yes. Okay. I don't know exactly how it works, but yes, it's called a lock box. This nice individual, 40 years in the industry, some people said some stuff to him and confused the hell out of him. Um, once he did his research, that's why he was apologizing, and that was this week. But it all goes directly to the bank, yes. Yep, we don't touch or process any payments. Nothing. Um, but I've got letter after letter of elderly individuals in the community that get confused about things and where stuff's going. We address it and get back to them as fast as we can. Again, I don't know your delinquency situation, but we don't, we don't charge that. And again, no fines and no fees. This has not happened. Most associations, I think it's what upset you, and that's what upset David and everybody. They're like, we're not even fining you. We're not even charging you. We're making sure we're all on the same team. It's postcards that go out saying, hey, you're behind. So when a neighbor says, I hate the way the yard looks, I get it, but I can't force everybody to care about their yard, but I can try to encourage them to get it done. And there's a whole category of things in Arizona state law that has to do, you've got three weeks to four weeks. I'm not talking about our community. I'm saying law in the state. Three weeks to four weeks in order for you to resolve something. That's a friendly letter. Then there's another friendly letter. So now you've got 60 days. So when you call me and go, that guy's got weeds for 60 days, Call your state representative and say, why did you pass a law that says you can't find somebody for 60 days? Well, we've got a house on our street that's been like that for about eight years. Is it is it on Arbor? Yep. I believe you. I believe you. <coughs> yeah, no, okay. I told, I, I, I'm, David, I'm going to admit that to him right now. Call the city. Okay. They, they can't do anything. Yeah. No, no, no. No, I'm going to admit something. It's actually not true. I, that, that's what you told me. No, 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 call the city. Yes, yes, you got to deal with that. Yes. But there's also a right to cure. That's an option where we, we hire an attorney, a couple thousand dollars later, we get to go into their private property and we get to address and remedy, remedies the word, what's going on. 
weeds, a car, or whatever. But in the state of Arizona, you, you have rights and freedoms and privacy, and an association is limited to actions they can take. And I think in a responsible way, you don't want people coming onto your property and hauling off a car or, or putting chemical on your front porch without them going through the proper process. But it's expensive. It's so called, what, what it's called a right to cure uh, uh, self-help. Self-help. What self -help. does that do for the neighbors that are around them that, I mean, they have to look at it every day for the last eight years. And then on top of that, their property values, if they wanted to sell their house, that's what the people coming to look at it or looking across the street at. I mean, it's the association I thought was supposed to be to help with all of that and help keep their home values where they, where they should be. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, rent, renters are another fun part of that too. But I, I want to circle back. I, I, they're not here because they're satisfied, but we deal with somewhere around 30 houses a year around the community. But I do suggest, like I've told him, contact the city, get a code violation, get the city involved because they have an ability to go after it where HOA law is different. Cities can make their own laws. So that's what you're seeing in those situations. You need to come into what's called code compliance They'll give you something to fill out and they document as they go along and they can get at it faster. We can still do things. It's just a matter of what do we want to spend to fix it? That, that's all it is. So if you come to a board meeting and go, hey, I've got this house and I know it's on Arbor, but which of the three is it? Is it on the north side that backs up to, yeah, okay. Hey guys, we're, we're jumping off I, mean, I hate to do that, but David, will you make a motion to, we need, we need 10 self-help approvals to begin uh, throughout the association for worst case. And that could begin with a postcard or a friendly letter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Second. Yeah, I'm a little hesitant on second that one, but I will. I, I, I mean, I don't know that he's been dealing with it for eight years. I'm going to be honest. I haven't been on your street, and I haven't I mean, taken I, account of that. But I appreciate your situation, and you're right, it should be rectified. Right, but my assumption is board members are supposed to be cruising neighborhoods, or property managers are supposed to cruise to... to well, we do, yes. To, to look at all that? I mean... I, I, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there as so I'm wondering. I ride my bicycle around the neighborhood. I try to get a look-see at everything. Um, dealing with some of the homeless under the streets and whatnot, but you know, it's hard to... I, I'm not running around with a camera on my shoulder and taking a picture of every house and dating it and going back and I, I want to leave my neighbors alone. You know, in a way, I, we should all get along, but at the same time, I don't, you know, we all have situations that we're dealing with and I, maybe it takes a little more time to take care of it. Get your camera. Uh, I can't talk about their private, so please don't zoom in. No, I get that. You know, I these mean, are violations. That, they owe and violations are. These are the violations. I'm just, you know, as a neighbor, I'm wondering why that stuff. So, so a little secret, uh, one year it resets. Every year it resets. So we go through with the violations and then you get a fresh that year. So January it restarts. And the idea is, is that we're not attacking people. If you guys want a different system, that's a conversation to be had. But I'm just telling you this system. And, and we, many years ago, eight years ago, had an issue with people being fined into oblivion and then having court costs and attorney fees because they had weeds and it just didn't feel right. And a lot of them were elderly and some just tried a different approach. If you don't agree with it, then that is something you guys can talk about. Um, we are looking to put another board member on tonight. Jay lives up the road, has house keys to people, really friendly. Amazing person, been here for 10 years, attends meetings, well aware of all of this. Uh, unfortunately, had a prior commitment, but that's gonna be who's be appointed. If you want, I mean, I'm sure Jay would love a project. Somebody would like to team up with Jay and have a conversation about it that, you know, that's something we can work on. I'm not trying to prevent it. If you guys think we need to have a meeting every week, we'll have a meeting every week. 
You guys, I mean, if you guys really think that, sure. I mean, I just heard earlier, and I'm glad everybody's really calm. We don't have the financials. I'm like, here they are. Not only that, but there. great. We had many meetings. Nobody showed up. <laughs> no, nobody. nobody. And I mean, I'm just saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. I'm talking about the, over the years now. But that's the thing is we've got we've received no notifications. You guys put it out on there. What happens when we we, we used to have a monthly one, same day every but, but every you have, month, but and but nobody would show up. No offense, but I have I've lived here 12 years between Cadfield and here. All I'm saying is we've never received any documentation in the 12 years we've been here, other than when you guys decide to post something up on the community yeah. bullets and books. So I, it's not consistent. Okay, you were saying 12 years. Correct. Okay, he's gonna laugh at this, but I mean we're talking about we've had meetings where people are bust in and shuttles. It's not a joke in the last six years yeah. so I, I hear what you're saying but i have find it hard to believe when i had 400 people at a meeting just six years ago that, was that it wasn't notified so well there's a couple of them how about that we'll agree it's been a couple of them that are pretty big but, but, but to do a better job to do a better job what if what if to do a better job to to resolve what you're trying to say uh the second part of what you just said about we're going to put the financials on there is do you want weekly meetings for the next month where they're right there? This is all that happens in these meetings. They're just going through what needs to happen. But I get that, I'm, and I'm not arguing that, but you guys say you have all these meetings, and I literally live on this street, and every meeting that supposedly happens right here. Oh, they move. There's three. Yeah, they're not always at Noble. They move to the parks. Well, there was that, like I said, there's no communication for us to know that where you're doing them. That's all I'm saying is, We've lived in this neighborhood, and like I said, so, so they used to be off-site. Then they were at a firehouse. Then they were at a school. Then they were at uh, down off the of power. I mean, we've moved them, trying to figure it out. We we've been doing this for about four or five years now at the parks on site. We're bouncing around to the various ones. I'm happy. I'm happy to say, if you guys want a commitment, I can post along with the financials. Do you want to do a weekly meeting for the next month and have these conversations? I just don't know why you're taking it to kind of the extreme. Every other week? I Basically, don't... everyone just wants regular meetings that are posted well within time, more than 24 hours. And that all the residents are informed. And there needs to be a better way to inform everybody because there's clearly a large part of the community that is not informed. Okay. And that's not fair. So, like I said, I'm trying to solve it. I'm hearing what you're saying, but these meetings that are posted in... In, in, in our four, hold on, our board meetings to be observed. They're not member meetings, they're board meetings. The agenda as you see it is just dealing with what's happening. Feedback's important and wanted. If you guys have more questions, all I'm saying is, is if, if I'm limited, I think somebody said they emailed or called, I'm willing to commit and sit down and have a conversation with me and those questions within the homeowner forum. If you want more, then let's do more, call up for a couple of weeks, but these meetings are quarterly, and that's what's in these meetings. It isn't... There's definitely board meetings where not everyone, you know, has to be aware of every single thing. Yeah, it's but when's the last really time boring. there was a annual meeting that so, was held and posted legally by you guys? Well, we dealt with you. that and not lost once, but I hear you. It's, it's always been addressed, but and I'm not going to go into a whole thing for obvious reasons, but... We, we're happy to make sure that that happens. It hasn't I'm happened. literally sitting here on video. It has. I'm going to disagree. Same as he said he hasn't seen a meeting in 12 years. I'm going to disagree, as she's confirmed with shuttle buses. That's just not happening. There was meetings six years ago, six, seven-ish years ago. Not no, that was the giant meeting. Can you, can you just confirm the date and time that this, that this was posted? I I, again, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to sit here and go just, through you do, you being in a courtroom uh, here sitting oh, here, and I would date. never agree just to such a date. precedent. And I have a question. Except that I will say that everything was properly notified, and that, as David pointed out, unfortunately, sometimes <sighs> people go around tearing things down. I have. So, well, it don't, was time stamped. So, excuse me, David. Okay. I well, I, I'll look at the timestamp. Can um, I just ask where, just so I, like, yes. where, call me clueless, where are they posted so I can look and review? Uh, mailboxes. 
on the, the at all the entrances yeah like they are right now uh and, and the then at the community signs right here the the little boxes that unfortunately get broken into a lot but i mean it's on the outside can we, like, how many days prior make them go it's just because i don't know i mean i'm yeah. right next to a park but i don't go up to the the grate to yeah. look at it so often can we like neon something <laughs> like or a balloon or, out a flare, i've got a I got, yeah, something yeah, that's gonna <laughs> catch my eye i got a better i got a better one maybe yeah yes yeah <laughs> we're discussing it, but maybe it's better where we're doing email a little bit better, where we're actually collecting everybody's email. But the turnover and people not wanting to share it, it didn't work very well. So that's why that was abandoned. It was very expensive. So we're posting where we need to post. But you've been at this meeting. You have your agenda. Anything in this that you have an opinion on in regards to your agenda or what's been discussed so far? I have a question later. <laughs> deal. That's a deal. We want to go back because you said you want about the meetings. There's four. Yeah, that's why. Just yeah. what to look for, like in, yeah. you know, you're saying you're posting it. I just want to know. That's that's where they're. Yeah. What you're. And then we also do postcards that actually uh, they're green, orange, blue, various yellow. They have a full breakdown of uh, do your weeds, take care of this, take care of that. They're front and back. I don't know how many. Well, anyways. Uh, but that's what that is. Uh, uh, hey, David. Let's jump down to your uh, various community matters. Uh, snow day. And I'm sorry. I don't have a picture. Yeah, snow day. Go ahead. I don't have any kids to participate, but I'll second it for all the families that do, if you guys want that. Snow. <laughs> we also used to, we've done many... Prior to COVID, nobody's here for any of the free food and the bouncy houses and the basketball. Nobody's done this. No, they've had the bouncy houses. So, okay, yeah. so you've seen that we've one. Seen okay. Those, yeah. That's what this is. It's a snow day. They bring snow and the kids sled. They make fake snow. How, how much is it, buddy? I didn't check a price. Well, let's check that. Yeah, like yeah, like okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do we think, dude? Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Yeah, 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 it should be in the summer, Next. and you guys need to weigh the cost versus the benefit. You, no, no good. Okay, no, David, they they don't like it. Okay, well, it's tried. All right, we'll let that die. I think there is very few comments about it. Okay, well, it's just it's getting everybody together, but going. I mean, twenty people. Yeah. You need to take more of a poll than. Yeah, that. I like that, that idea. We just need more people. And I, and I really do hear you, but I love that. that's why you have the, options as well. That's why you have the board so that they kind of get things done because you, you can't pull everything. But like the free food, we had, I don't know, 260 meals that went out. Something like that. We had three food trucks and kids were everywhere and it was a big event. But not everybody's going to agree with that. Last one was, right here, last one was two years ago, party. COVID. Oh, the last two. Kind of oh, killed big a event. Lot, a long time ago. Two years ago, yeah. That was the last big event. I was trying to do another one. But. You guys said you didn't, so we'll... No one really said that. that. Well, we're talking snow days, and then we're talking grilling. So are we doing grilling, or are we doing a barbecue, or what? Would you be interested in that? Are you saying food trucks? we need the options. Like, you talk to me right now. I mean, do you want us to look at food trucks? Well, let's explore more than just a snow day. Okay. Sure. Let's look into let's look into food trucks. Okay, you want to table it? Let's okay. let's get the let's get the community together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's dangerous. Uh, <laughs> for some, joke. for some. Uh, <laughs> so you can't say that. That's not well, not like a you know, yeah. I, I know, I know. Hey, uh, addressing weeds, uh, David. So we got a big intake of weeds, looking at C4 once again, having them out here running everything. I mean, it's just gotten warm. We've had that rain. Time to hit it. Time to hit it. Yeah, just need a motion. I motion to do the C4 treatment. Okay. Uh, per the budget. That's per the budget. Yeah. yeah, as per the budget. I'll second that. Guys, questions? How do you decide what weeds... You just when they're out there, you pre-emerge every or post-emerge everything. It's a post-pre that goes through our, all the common area. Yeah, the lower retention's never done because it floods and it's completely wasteful. How often is that done? It varies. It just depends on what needs to be done. Two to three times a year. Yeah. Another word question, only because I'm just no, not at all. 
Does the landscape not include weed control? It does not. So that's different. Yes. Same as parks are maintained a certain way, graffitis and... All different. Yes. Okay. All different. Yeah. Letters are mailed through page per page. The bank receives payments. Every everything's got something going on. A lot of moving okay, parts. I guess I assume Violations, that's though. That's that's me, and I just don't believe in being belligerent. But you know, it's up to the community. If you guys want no. more enforcement, got a legitimate question. Yeah. Now, what about entailing and adding personal pre-emergent for the whole neighborhood, not just the communal areas, to maybe combat that eight-year problem that we have on our board? Okay, oh, yeah, it's great. It's, this is a great question. We, because Kip, yeah, the, I'm sorry, I'm it's okay. We can't legally do it. The reason why is they're, they're, the chemicals; those are state regulated, and we can't get involved directly on people's private property. We did, we can tell them you can contact C4. Is there a potential natural alternative instead? Vinegar. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go into people's yards. Yeah, I can't be honest with you. No, it's going to be the answer. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's pretty harsh stuff. Like vinegar is hard okay. and Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> you don't want to be the You have to have a license. Now. What, with the vinegar? No, 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 with the other stuff. You have to have a license. Oh, yeah, no, I know that. So uh, okay, so. Naturopathic. You got. Okay. Davis. Oh, yes. So you're talking about contacting this company. Uh huh. Technically, I mean, I don't know the rules and all that, but aren't you supposed to contact multiple companies, get the best bid, and then go based off of that bid, not just that company? No. No. So the company right now sucks. What? I'm sorry. Second that. <laughs> we'll go with it. Sure. Well, all right. We're not gonna get confrontational. Okay. Yes or no? Yes or no? So what? You guys don't want this company, is what I'm hearing from my neighbors. Okay. And do you have other companies? No. You want us to go out and find five companies, find the best bid. It's okay, the best, best, and then the choose the best bid, the or under? I'm just asking. I mean, yeah, I can, can ask it. Go ahead. We well, just well shouldn't, we, shouldn't you make sure we get right. the best and bang That's what the budgets are about. In the past. I got mad yeah, last year. They put it down. It rained a day or two later, and we had the same problem. That's unfair. And we're actually not. That's. Who's lower? Yeah. Parkwood Ridge. Come on, trees. Parkwood Ridge? Yeah, yeah. With 1,500 individuals. Yeah, they're lower. Yeah. So, they have 1,500 individuals. Well, I understand. How, I understand how the numbers yeah. You were welcome no, to. I mean, yeah. I'm saying, but that, your statements. Yeah. Okay, so there was a no or yes. Are we doing weeds or uh, letting yes, them grow? Yes, they want it done, but everyone's mad at Great. Let's see if this company, if it doesn't come through the next time, oh. then we'll find another company. Would, would you allow me to address it after we make our yeah. motion? Yes. Yes. Yes or no? Hey, you, David? Yeah. Is that yes or a no, buddy? Yes. 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 Will you loudly tell them how many times you've had to do this because a group shows up after a few years and says, let's go get a bid? Go ahead. Talk what you want. Yep. Well, they're reliable. They actually show up. I think that's a big thing. How many contractors don't show? It's reliable and it lasts as long as they say it's going to last. Uh, it should be. Contact, um, Seagull Butte Ranches, HR, or landscaping. They do a wonderful job in their neighborhood. Where is that now? Parkwood, Parkwood Ranch? Parkwood Ranch. Oh, you mean Parkwood. Ranch, right across the street. Yeah. It's a very impressive place. Perfect. Yeah, it's very impressive. <laughs> Well, we're just concerned. No, 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 hold on, buddy. Hold on. Don't, don't adjourn yet. Hold on. So we got our board member, Jay. Uh, we we want to make... The 165 quarter. Yeah. But they have 1,500 individuals in there. Right. Twice yeah. the amount. Yeah. Uh, so Jay Gutentag is we were looking to have appointed in for the third person that then, of course, would be up for election. But I think it's somebody that... Like I said, the, the, he's got multiple people that hand him a key and say, watch my house while they're out of town. This good individual he shows up at the meetings that apparently don't exist, but he's there. He's actually participated. Uh, it helped with the pigeon control three years ago where we had, what, eight different houses fully treated for the pigeons. That's been lost on everybody as well. That cost $4,000. Uh, I, I think this is a good individual. What do you think? What do you think of David? 
You want to appoint? Is, is there any? a vacancy on the board currently? We'll, we'll get there in just one second. Well, just, how can you appoint someone if there's no vacancy? We're going to get there in two seconds. David, I have to have a motion for the discussion. My motion to appoint and we'll have a discussion after. Okay, it's Jay Gutentag, by the way, okay? Okay. I'll second that. Second. Do Go ahead. Anything about this guy? No. Go ahead. Other than anybody. I don't know. Anybody. I mean, are you the one that nominated this guy? You're picking. You just his heard name. that he nominated. David him. Did. You just heard that. After you told him to. No, this is somebody that we'd already had talked about. I didn't tell him to do anything. Let's try to be professional. Okay. You're Go ahead. This goes into my hell, questions dude. now, and I'm yeah. not being confrontational at all. Not at all. After what happened there. And here, I'm just, I'm just saying no, it, okay? Good. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> this, and I'm not good with words, so I really don't mean it negative. I'm honestly wanting to learn. Sure. I'm getting the sense that everybody's not super happy with the board that's been in there for a long time. I'm not saying anything against anybody, but that's what I'm getting from community, or what's been going on. And if there's opening on the boards, what is the process to like you said, okay, pick Jay and let's point him. Can you it's just, I don't know the process sure. to get them on the board or how do we vote or get a ballot or yeah, so like if I wanted to be yeah. part of the HOA, right? like do I approach you and say, hey, I want to like, yes. I'm just learning and I'm just now at a time in my life where I might be, you know, my kids are older and I can yeah. put brain power. So how so, does that go? Yeah, so the idea, as far as who's been on the board, not been on the board, the board has changed 12 different times, 15 different times in the last few years. So when, when what's been told to you, and I'm on camera, are lies in some- Well, and small, I have had nothing- No, I'm not, I'll finish I my just thought. Don't know about You've been asking. lied to, much like somebody saying, I haven't heard of a board meeting or an annual meeting or anything else for 12 years, which all garbage, all made up. There are meetings, there are, in fact, uh, elections. There will be an election coming up for Jay's seat. That is correct. Perfect. So Jay's being appointed right now. If they approve and, it. And I'm sorry, what does appointed mean? Act like I'm a kid. I'm totally. The board is allowed to, to appoint this. somebody to an empty seat. So we have an empty seat. An empty, Jay's going to be appointed. Three board members? The Currently, there's three. That's correct. Okay. I do have a question. My neighbor, uh, Nick, Nicholas Howard, is a member of the, uh, the board, right? No. Since when? I don't know. Okay. Guys, again, we're not in court, so thank you for your questions and comments. So going back to you, plainly put, the board is able to appoint someone on an empty seat. And that assigns That's what they're him doing. on or that lets Puts him on. Vote. Puts him on if he's willing to accept. Okay. Uh, the board has to agree to that. They agree. Then they're on. And then there's an election for that seat, so they have to be elected at that point. So they're only temporarily and appointed. Who elects them? Can the board elects them. Is that the potentially? Board? Sure. More of we've, we've had we've had fluctuations all over the place. Yeah, it's no, definitely I'm, that potentiality. And then how do we let you know well, if the we idea behind be board board members is 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 it, is it angry person A threatening your life B or soft threatening you and making statements C. I mean, we never know what we're going to get. So when oh, we no, so when we hold curious. elections and such information. We want to make sure that we're getting a good group of individuals that are coming in. So we don't just say there's seven people on the board or we heard a bunch of lies and somebody yells out, isn't Nick on the board? And you're like, no, it's all made up. I mean, I, the amount of lies, what this attorney is going to do is just daunting beyond belief. Well, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not trying to do lies and stuff. I honestly, for me, yeah. like, like if I wanted to be part of the board, how... Yeah. So the last time that you had this, and nope, oh, she walked away, or is she still here? Not last time, like just now. That's okay. Nope, oh, she walked away. She cost you somewhere around eighty-five thousand dollars that you all had to pay for uh, in attorney fees. To, I guess. I'm Can you just answer her question? To to... I just did eighty-five thousand dollars <laughs> no, in attorney fees and BS. For what though? What I, I guess I don't know what the eighty-five thousand was for. My That's... question was, how do I want? Like, let, do I let you know? You'll have to talk to the attorney about it, and I'll say it again. That's what cost you $85,000 last time, is the fact that when things are said, and that we have a situation like this. So I asked the attorney if I want to be, I'm not trying to be mean, I really am not. I honestly want to learn about HOAs and be part of this. And, and yet we're not in a class, and I can't teach you right now, but there are appointing someone, and there will be an election after the fact. We're who, all set. who votes on that? The member is the question. I think is what yeah. she's trying to ask. Okay. No. Yes or no? No. Okay. Yes or no? David, yes or no? 
Okay. So Jay will be on there, and then there will be an election held shortly to whether or not you guys want to hang on to Jay or you want to put somebody else into that position. Who was the vacancy? Do you mind answering that? How do we find, is, a, is who's on the board listed somewhere? On the website? David, Tony, Jay. Potentially. So there's three people on the board now. Yeah, we're getting close. We're kind of getting into, we want to talk to a lawyer. Let's spend all of our money and our assessments go up. They're very nervous. Let's be professional. I'm, I'm being very nice to you guys, but I'm, I'm just, this hey, isn't Alex. my, it's not my money. I mean, you guys, you guys are the ones that are. That's why we're trying to find it. It, it. it is your money, and I'm saying there's nothing that, that is nefarious or problematic, but when you, when you have individuals that run around saying Nick's on the board, well, then you have to address it. You have to pay somebody to address it. When you have somebody saying, "Hey, why are we doing this and why are we doing that?" Well, then you have to address it. I, I'm not. I'm not going to address it. That's not my responsibility. We're operating as we should. I think one of the strongest things that I would say is when I have, and thank you for filming. When I have person after person after person after person after person after person being recorded saying the wrong things, false things. And then you have to hire somebody to clarify and clear up those things. I just ask a and then we have a we have a state representative <laughs> saying they're going to save everything. We have to address it. I didn't do that. I didn't make that happen. Yeah, I didn't do that. I had nothing to do with it. I just showed up. And by the way, even though I was threatened, and Tony, I can't believe you showed up. David said, "Hell no, I'm showing up." And Jay said, "No way, I'm showing up because of what happened." I still sat here. I still showed up and bravely said. I'm, I want an open meeting. So, still here. Yes? I'm sorry, who are you? Because I missed the beginning of this meeting because it was literally posted, like, yeah. right when it started. <laughs> but can you, can you tell me who you are? <laughs> Thank you for recording that, too. Oh, are you, you're welcome. I'm Alex. Are nice you to meet you. Board, sir? Oh, you're you're Alex? I'm the man. I'm the you're, Alex. You're the representative. Oh, okay. You're not on the board? You're wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I please phone capture phone the reaction? Wow. <laughs> What have you heard? No comment. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, she must have, she must have friends. Yeah, yeah, she must be on Facebook. Okay. Anything else, guys? So you didn't answer my question. Are you representative of the of the board or manager? Yeah, you're the manager. No, you're fine. If we want to, like, she, I'm piggybacking her uh, regards to wanting new board members and re possibly replacing Anthony, you, anybody on the board, and adding new board members. What's the process that we could take to do that in a legal way that we're not going to spend twenty five thousand dollars of the HOA money to do that? That's all I'm asking. Eighty five thousand. Uh, well, well, I don't really care how much it is. It's the fact that it's spent. Will you please show him laughing at that? That's literally documented six years ago. No, no. I, but, but again, I'm not trying to be like I said. I'm not. Yeah. How do we go about do you know that? What, as, as, really as, fast. Do you know what financials are, right? Great. So before you start laughing and making up things, why don't you go look at the financials I'm discussing? So you're more than welcome to ask the question. Yes. How, There's how a process for it. So letters will go out in regards to it following up for an actual meeting of, okay. of, of the members. And okay. then that's how that process will begin. Okay. So we'll have another meeting. How would we get that in the agenda for that meeting that we want? No, that goes out. That goes out later. So that's not going to be occurring currently. Okay, so when would the next time? Is it six months? Is it three? I, I, don't, I don't have that in front you, of me. You don't have any time. Okay, then my second question to that, when was the last time that we've had a, and, it, a, and again, it's an something election, that, you know, like I said earlier, it's not a courtroom. It's not, we're not going to go down a whole thing. I, I think we've been very open and very honest. There's a whole discussion about financials. We solved that. There's a whole discussion about who, what, where. That was all dissolved. I think we've, we've met it. I think we've tried. Okay. okay, I'm just asking for elections. That's yeah. when that. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. This was good. This was definitely progress. I like it when it's a little more honest and open. That's kind of a nice thing. Okay. Yeah, I do have one more comment. Oh, God, please. I can't wait. Please. I don't to TikTok. appreciate you calling yeah, me not, a liar. Not that, it's not confrontational. It's not confrontational. You said you knew Alex. I don't appreciate being called. You called us liars that there hasn't been meetings in three years. Maybe you hosted your little meetings here um, by yourself and your little board members, but we were not notified. And I do not appreciate people called a liar. So thank you. And you think you're, you're, you, the people they, that are appointed sure, David. are good and honest people? So you think a good and honest person thank calls you. their... Hey, I need a uh, second on the uh, motion to adjourn.
Hey, you know what? I'd raise your hand and try to join the board. I mean, somebody that's reasonable like that, I would really, really would encourage you to raise your hand. Hey, David, I'm going to hang up on you, okay, since you've called the meeting. Hey, thank you. Hey, by the way, uh, was it yes or a no to adjourn? Yes, uh, adjourn this. Yes, yes. All right, I'm letting you go. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, you had a question. I'm sorry. No, I was just saying, that's like, I'm seeing it from both sides here. Yeah, like, yeah I know. It's, it's kind of one of those things where somebody, I think she's over there, wasn't happy with an answer that I gave her and said, I'm gonna get everybody all riled up and I'm gonna call everybody I know and the whole thing and how this happened. And yet they said, I don't know when a meeting is. And yet everybody's at these meetings this month when there was already meetings. It's just, we didn't have that person contacting everybody and riling it up. Well, I do like what the lady in pink was saying was definitely some some bright, I mean, honestly, make it kiddish, put blooms, whatever. I, I, I love the idea. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah, because it so, should be a community. We should all get along. It, it, we should it, all. A hundred percent. Yeah, and the, the meetings are very open. The financials are open. Everything's out there. That's that's kind of the difficulty. I didn't receive it. I did receive it. You know, this that. Yeah, it's just kind of like okay. I we can't function as a community unless uh, I and I'll use the word Karen contact a representative and then they show up and embarrass themselves and jazz hand and say I'm Barbara Parker and does a dance. I mean, that was really embarrassing. It was embarrassing. It's a state representative. I expect more. I have a question. Are you I would expect more out of a state representative. Just in my opinion. So why why are you being Do you guys have anything else which we're good? You already adjourned. Yeah I say for me. No? Okay. Thank you guys. Be safe. And thank you for